in today's video we're going to show you how to create a BIOS USB stick and then flash BIOS using the BIOS flashback button. This is going to work for most popular motherboard manufacturers. The process will take around 10 to 15 minutes and you should follow along with every step to make sure that you don't get lost. You're going to need two things for this process, a USB stick or flash drive, maximum size 16 gigabytes, don't go any larger and you will need a working computer as well. Let's start by plugging the USB stick into the computer we're using for the process. Now we need to format it so that it's read properly by the motherboard. Go to the folder icon at the bottom of the screen, navigate to this PC, and then find your USB stick. Right click it and format. Now at this point, don't forget that all of the data on this USB stick will be erased during this process, so back anything up before continuing. Make sure the file system is set to FAT32, and if you like, you can change the volume label to BIOS to make it easier to recognize later, but that's optional. Then you simply press start in order to format the drive. Now we need to download the BIOS file itself. Go to the product page for your motherboard. Important note, if your motherboard is Gigabyte branded, ensure you go to the correct revision number. You can find the revision number on the label on the box. You want to look for support or downloads and then find the BIOS. Grab the latest version available and download it. If it says in the description that it is a beta version, you might want to avoid these for maximum stability, but in some cases you will need to go onto a beta BIOS in order to reconcile an issue. In general, I would say avoid the beta BIOSes unless you're somebody that likes to tinker with your hardware. Go to the downloads folder and extract the downloaded folder by right clicking and clicking extract. Then you will need to rename the BIOS file so that it is recognized by your motherboard. This is going to be slightly different depending on the manufacturer, so I'm going to run through the common ones now. You can use the chapter function on YouTube in order to skip to your particular motherboard brand so you don't waste your time. For Asus motherboards, you open the folder, then you open the BIOS renamer, then press any key and then it will automatically rename the BIOS file for you. Then you simply copy the BIOS file straight to the USB stick. For ASRock and NZXT, you open the folder and rename the BIOS file to creative.rom, then copy it to a USB stick. For Gigabyte, you open the folder and rename the BIOS file to gigabyte.bin, then copy it to your USB stick. For MSI, you open the folder and rename the BIOS file to msi.rom and then copy it to your USB stick. Once that's done, you can unplug the USB stick from the PC because that completes this process. This section is about performing the actual BIOS flash. Plug the power cable into your PC and ensure the power supply is flipped to the one position. You have to get your BIOS USB stick, which you prepared earlier, and place it in the designated BIOS flash port. Usually this is easy to spot because it will say BIOS on it or it will have a white box surrounding it. If you're unsure, check your motherboard's manual for more details for your specific motherboard. Then find the BIOS flash button, 
found somewhere near the USB ports. Click and hold this in for seven seconds. If you have very short nails, you can use the end of a small screwdriver to push this in. An LED should start blinking at this point. Now leave the PC for 15 minutes to BIOS update. In some cases, the BIOS flash button is actually mounted on the motherboard itself rather than on the back ports. So press it there instead. If you can't find your flashback button, check your motherboard manual. On older motherboards, this button may not exist, in which case you'd have to boot the PC and update it from inside the BIOS screen rather than using the flashback method. Hope this tutorial has been helpful. If it has, leave a like and a comment and I'll catch you in the next upload.